G'day everyone, I'm Wesley here from Business Blessings and this is the second of our instructional videos on the daily journey. Uh, the second part of our daily disciplines that we're looking at is reading the Word of God. And you know, the Word of God is the number one source of spiritual and social transformation in the, Word of God, in the world today. In fact, if you look at major transformations that have happened, it's because people have got back to reading the Word of God. But sadly, I think uh, stats show that only about 25% of Christians actually read the Bible. The thing about the Bible is, uh, is two scriptures I always refer to. Joshua 1 verse 8 says, Do not let the book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you'll be prosperous and successful. So God is saying that, you know, the key to being prosperous and successful is actually meditating on the word of God day and night. The other scripture that I talk about is found in Hebrews 4 verse 12 which says, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing of the soul and spirit, joints and marrows. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. And actually then in verse 13, it goes on to say, Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give an account. So the word of God is powerful and, and we need to treat it as such. We need to give it the honor and respect it as due. And one of the ways that we do that is to read the word of God. So um, in, in this daily journey, what we actually do is give you one passage of scripture per week to read and concentrate on. Now you think, you know, isn't it the volume of scripture? Well, actually, I want to take you deeper into the word of God. I want to teach you a, a way of reading the word that is, is called the prayer of imagination. You know, I love what uh, Mulholland says in regards to scripture reading. He says that spiritual reading uh, is the discipline of openness to encounter God through the writings of the mothers and fathers of the church, beginning with the scriptures. In spiritual reading, the text uh, embraces a means of grace through which we encounter the God who has spoken us forth into being and who continues to speak to us to shape us in the image of Christ for others you know the text opens us up to God's control of our lives for God's purposes and this is a radical reversal of the dynamics of the informational culture in which our possession and we use of information enables to impose our purposes on the world and our activities you know, most of us have been trained as informational readers and we seek to read the material for what we need from it. So we read it as rapidly as we can. The goal being to master the text for, for the fulfillment of our purposes. Spiritual or formational reading is the exact opposite of informational reading. It is entered into best when the scripture is chosen for us. So hence one of the reasons why we choose a scripture for you rather than you choose a scripture. It allows the text to have control over us and it becomes a place of encounter with God instead of it bringing, being an object controlled by us. So I want to encourage you not to come to the reading of the scripture with your own agenda, but come to it with a posture of seeking to understand God's agenda. Read attentively, not to cover as much as possible, as quickly as possible, but to go deep into the depths of the text so that so there becomes a plumb line for us of our, of our being and our doing. Uh, rather than having an analytical approach, we take contemplative postures that is, that is more open to ambiguity and mystery. The goal of reading is actually to be mastered by God for the fulfillment of God's purposes in us and through us. And so this is why I encourage you to, to use a contemplative version of reading called the prayer of imagination. So basically, what does that involve? Well, for each scripture, what we're asking you to do is actually to sit there and read the passage through seven times. I think I can hear you now. Where's what on earth are you talking about? You know, what I found in reading scriptures, when you through it, read it once and twice and three times, your mind is still wandering around. But by the time you get to the fourth, the fifth, the sixth and seventh, the power of God starts to move. You know, I, I have uh, actually um, led workshops where we've read out the word of God up to seven times and you can actually feel feel the thickness of the presence of the Holy Spirit in the room as you read the Word of God. 
one of the activities that we do once a year is actually reading the Bible through from cover to cover to Bible reading marathon, which carries you, you know, to take. We do that as part of the National Day of Prayer and Fasting. There is something incredible about reading the Word of God out loud. So each week we've given you a passage of Scripture to read and a set of questions to do, and I've put that in each day. Now, you're going to think, oh, I've already read it that day. What else am I going to get out of it? You know, by the time you read the passage through seven times over seven days, that's 49 times, it actually becomes part of your being. It becomes, like Joshua talked about, that you're meditating on the Word of God both day and night, and from that it leads you to be prosperous and successful. It actually will penetrate through to you. Some of the passages that we've chosen uh, for you will really go in deep to you and you'll be surprised and amazed because a lot of them are ones that you would have read again and again and again but let me tell you just as you read them afresh and open yourself up to be controlled by the text rather than controlling the text and I know that's hard as business people because we're all about controlling the situation you will see the power of God at work in you so my prayer for you is that the eyes of your heart will be open so that you may know and understand what the Word of God is for you and that truly, as you call unto God, He will answer you and show you greater mighty things in His Word that you do not know. Bless you as you walk forward in reading the Word of God each day.